welcome back viewers and subscribers and now um, in this episode I have here Lickerman who is an original um, back in the days he was a raster man he was back he was involved um, during the time of the Dread Act um, when you had certain laws and certain policies that were passed back then um, those were during the 70s but he's gonna elaborate some more for us and give us a uh, a, a look back into the future, in, into the history of our community, of our country, of our island, what it was like back then being being a dread, being a rasta and surviving during that time. So here we have um little man you you can introduce yourself and yes. Well I am you know originally you know Christian name Ernest Pascal and um Later on in my youth days, my teenage days, um, I was given a nickname called the Command. And um, from there, it, it, it ranged from Little, little Man, Smalley, you know? Some people call me Smalley, some people call me Little Man, some people would call me Little up to today. So that is who I am. That's why I didn't even know. I didn't even, uh, I know you're earning it because you're my, you know, Facebook yes. and so forth. But yes. as I always knew, you're like a man. Yes. 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 So um, I'm going to have this discussion, but it has so much to say. I think he might have, when he comes back again, he might have a part two. Yes. Because definitely. it's a, it's a very long, long story. So it must, it will have part one, part two, and I think part three. You know. Yes. Reaching up to this, you yes. know, these times here. So anyway, I was born in 1952 in Margot, and at nine, from nine months, I traveled with my adopted parents to Roseau. So I grew up in Roseau, just like a Roseau man. Okay. And um, in those days, you know, to know is a big difference. So in my in my growth, in my teenage. You know, I was always inquisitive and like to read and like to, what you call that, research. Research. A lot of history. Yes. You know, I was very interested in history. You went to grammar school? No, I didn't go. Okay. My last school I attended was um, the Goodwill Junior High School. Okay. Uh, my my adopted father said if I did not get a scholarship, he wouldn't be, you know, how you call it, supporting me yes. to go to, to high school. Yes. And I didn't got, I sat the exam, I didn't get a scholarship. So I decided to go to work. At that time, he was the Minister of Education. Okay. But well, before he became a Minister of Education, he was um, Inspector of Schools. So he says, growing up in his home, somebody like me should get a scholarship. Wow, yes. You know, he yes. didn't want nothing less. Less than that. That was a required standard. Yes, that was a required standard. Anyway, I began work as a propagator in the agricultural division. And from there, I did a little electrical engineering. And during that time, the, the Black Power Movement in the Caribbean was, you know, being Taking propagated. Off. And um, I began studying books, political science, and, you know, with history and geography, as, uh, you know, at, at the same time. Yes. And um, a lot of information was flowing. Um, then we realized that the Black Power Movement in the Caribbean began with Marcus Garvey. And he had um, movements and he had members right through the Caribbean. So in those days we decided to find out who the Garveyites in Dominica. And we started inquiring until we got one or two Garveyites. Okay. You know, age of a man. Yes. And we had interviews with them, you know, and they was giving us information of the whole movement okay. with Marcus Garvey. Okay. So even though that that block power movement um so going on, we had um I remember we had a movement called the Maniku movement. Yes. And Desmond Trotter at that time, the Kabinda who is in Shishimani right now in Ethiopia. Yes. You know, he was one of our leading members, uh leader in fact. And um, you know, it was very interesting to talk to him. Yes. And um, he would give us information that we didn't know, and I myself would be doing my research. And the Black Power Movement was growing so fast in the Caribbean, you know, that um, we had, you know, 
men from Guyana all over coming to Dominica. Dominicans would go to those places, you know, get training and whatever. Okay. And in that time, they would decide that um, is a, is in Africa, in South Africa, in that time, this, this struggle was raging. Yes. So we were building up our knowledge of our black history. Yes. Even it began in the four corners, the places they call in those they call the four corners. That was do you have a do you have a time um a date on that? Like what year that was nine, roughly? Okay, it was in the let's see, um the dates in that in those times there was um in the sixty eight sixty eight late sixties yes. yes, yes. Sixty eight, sixty nine going yes. down. Going down, yes. Sixty seven, sixty eight, yes. sixty nine. Yes. Seventy, seventy one. Yes. To seventy four and you know, going yes. going back. Very early. And I was very, really, I was really young. Yes. So now, during that struggle of the, um, we decided, well, I'm struggle. So we started to make the movement, started to make demands on the government, you know. Yes. For certain things, you know, certain changes that in that time, Rosie Douglas, and um, all the um, act black activities in Dominica, you know, um, Ron Green. Um, okay, Ron Green. And um, those guys, those guys, those activities, activists. And they were, you know, really university university graduates. graduates. So we now, on the other hand, were local young men. Yes. And some of some of us were from, you know, um, what we call it in those days. That is where we get to understand about bourgeoisie and you know aspiring and petty bourgeoisie. Yes. The yes. system is based on that. Yes. You know, from slavery to yes, to that. To that, yes, it yes. evolved like that. Yes. yes. So some of our our brothers were from the bourgeoisie sector. Mm -hmm like Peter Allen and you know. Mm -hmm. And the security structure we came from that to, to protect the bourgeoisie's yeah. properties. Properties, right? You're right? Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting. And then um, during that stage, you know, we remember the time that um, we, we, we were established. We decided to establish ourselves in Grand Bay. That is in the south of the island. Okay. And that is the place where Grand Bay is a place where Poverty was really prevailing for village because the people didn't have land of their own. Oh, would have to go far. Okay. Above the land, the estate owner. So at that time, Margaret people had their own land already. Well, yes. At that time, Margaret people had their own land. We were, more, we were much more advanced when it comes to owner land ownership. Oh, okay. Because we got our land, the Margaret people got their land from the Methodist Church, the mission. Woodwood was was distributing land to to the Methodist people, you know, selling out or we would le we were leasing land. Yes, yes. On, 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 because the church had a portion of land from since back then. Yes. And although we had a, a, a colony a colonial system, you know, still like in other other parts of Dominica, whereby the most of the land were owned by um land owners by right. like Europeans. Yes. So Melvin Hall, the name Melvin Hall comes from a a British old British soldier old old Melvin Hall estate. Okay, okay. So we had London Derry Estate and you know those other estates. So but they were not far from where we where Margaret people would get access to Crown Land. Okay. Yes, okay. Compared to Grand Bay and certain okay. places, okay. you know? Yes. And even Chubby made a song that he took jail for one coconut. At that time, there you no access. You couldn't go on the estate and get anything. Yes. And for you to get land in Grand Bay, you'd have to pass through the estate and go far. Wow. And the hills are not as Margot land laid out, you yes, know, and yes. accessible. Yes. So, and there was a place when we would check back our history. Grand Bay is the place where the Negmawo, the maroon slaves yeah. or runaway slaves, had the held. There was a place of um, protection for them against the colonial master. stronghold. Stronghold. Okay. Because of the access to Grand Bay. Ah, you understand? Yes. Access Limit, limited access. Bay. Yes, limited access. So that was a stronghold for yes, them. Yes, yes. And the people in Grand Bay, they were not um, colonized in that way. Okay. So that they would sell them out as such. Yes. Like even today. Yes. You know? Yes. And um, so we decided to, to start in Grand Bay. Okay. Until then, the, the, we got control of the estate. Yes at that time there, you know? Yes. The movement got control of the estate. And they go when the Prime Minister, the, the Premier, I think he was the Premier, he decided well to control the estate uh -huh. and um, and buy the estate and give it uh -huh. to, the to, people. to the people. Okay. So that is one accomplishment we, 
we can see we we we, we fought for yes, okay. and, and got and from that all the other estates in in, Do in dominica were given were, were, were acquired from to the government and given to the people so let me ask a question now so that was before the, the revolution the revolt in grand before the land when yeah, my dad, I, there was a revolution at one point. That is it, I'm talking that about. One, yes, yeah, so. That oh, one, yes. Oh, yes. okay, okay. So you guys were instrumental in that then? Yeah, we were very instrumental in that. The, very, the, very these very are key, these are historical facts that need to be noted. Yes, yes, yes of course, of course. And um, and um, it continued until I told my brother, um, you see this Black Power movement, um, I think I want to be grounded into something you know something rootical yes something grounded yes because um when i did my research with the black power movement and whatever and um i realized how the trend was going i realized that we the youth from the ghetto would be the victims yes of the system of the system time. yes and um, because our leaders like Rosie Douglas, um, Ron Green, you call and um, you know what is his name again? Um, if I trying to remember those guys. Anyway, we decide. Um, I decided well. Them guys studying. Yes. You know, and um, we in the front line. Yes. And. Um, no opportunity for us to move from where we are. Yes. So I decided, you see this thing there? It doesn't work too proper for me. Again, again, in my research, I realized that um, the movement, the black power movement was based on um, liberation for black people mm -hmm. um, socially, economically. Yes. But spiritually, there was a lack, and you know we were more leaning to communism. Yes. And communism presents itself as an atheistic yes, system approach. Yes. approach. Yes. And um, from time I was spiritual. Yes. I had that spiritual inclination that the Almighty blessed the human yeah. being with. So I used to study all different religions. Yes. And histories and 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 and. Um, and lifestyles. Yes. So that's why I always very said important I like, lifestyles. Huh? Yeah. Yes. So that's why I always used to study um, magazines like um, National Geographic. So I, I had took a keen interest in um, how you call it anthropology. Okay. So I met an anthropologist. Yes. From Dominica. His name was Akim. Okay. And the first man I saw was Lux. It was him. His locks was go way down to the ground. Yeah, back then. He, yes, back then. Wow. He had his family and only girls around one, two, three, four, five of them. Five girls or six girls. His wife, same thing, dreadlock, but she was a co of a Caucasian orientation. Yes. So I was, you know, would be speaking and so. And I would get enough information. So I would ask him about Ethiopia and, yeah. you know, who would be giving me his information because he was traveling in Africa. Yes. He would travel to Europe barefooted, even in the winter. Wow. And when the Caucasians would see him, they would say, he's a madman. Yeah. He tell me that they would, everybody say he's mad, you know. Yes. Because when our man can be traveled, can be in Europe, yes. England, yes. without shoes yes. in the snow. Yes. And, um, so I told a, a brethren of mine, they used to, we used to call him True. He was in the regiment in um, Trinidad. Yes. At that time, Trinidad had an, up, uh, had an up, uh, uprising. Yes. And the regiment was disbanded. But who, who, who took jail, took jail, who, you know, whatever. Yes. But he had a slip disc, so he was in hospital when that went on. Okay. And uh, he came to Dominica. So, in talking to him, you know, he had the same, he was in the black power movement and everything. Yes. So I said, truth boy, you see this same thing there? I want to be grounded. Because I was talking to a brother early on, went to had a smoke that is in Tarish Pit. Yeah. So after the smoke, he said, let me tell you something, he's my partner, he's from Trinidad. 
Just let me tell you, don't follow them man, them black power man and them man, all them man go to church and thing, you go to university and thing, them man have their degree and thing. Yes. You don't see all those there, just when all those wither away and not, nothing, you have to look for yourself. Yes, yes. Try and get, you know, acquire a skill or some kind of thing. So I put that in my head. So I make true, I say true, I want to be grounded man, I don't want to be just, just there as a black power and just without nothing, I want to know well, you know, I grounded into a, yes. a, a, a spiritual movement. Yes. He tell me what about the Muslim? Because he was practicing Islam. Okay. So I say Islam, I say no man so. You know you're supposed to know better than that. <laughs> because remember the same European and the Islam is the together that was that helped to to, to 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 bring about the slave free. Yes, absolutely yes. So I tell him but you forget man. It's the Christian and them that was um buying slave from the Muslims. Yes, yes. So I don't want to be with them and then yes. he said but look what about them Rasta? Yes. Them Rasta in G I see Rasta, but I'd read about, I read a book by Rex Nettlefold. Okay. In my younger days, mm -hmm. before the Black Power movements begin. Okay. Re Rex, Rex Nettlefold had a book now written, Rastafari in Jamaica. And he's the professor in the University of the West Indies. West Indies. So I read that book, a guy that lent it to me. Yes. Because I'll get books because yeah, you guys know what I'm interested yes, in. Yes, yes. When I read uh, Rex Nettlefold and I see him talking about the dongle, and Marcus Garvey and Emmanuel and yes. and I just I said what man the man and you know the holy herb and the whole the way they go about I say mm, yes. that that sounds interesting interesting yes that sounds interesting <laughs> and because they were coming from a spiritual vibe yes you know? yes yes and when they would have their 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 their, their how you call it their gatherings and so and they would bring out the herb you know, and they would put it in the chalice. Yes, yes. And they would pray this prayer yes. and smoke the herb. Yes. And call it on Babylon fall and yes. call it for Babylon to fall and all kind of, and you know, and the whole works. Yes. So that was interesting. So when you tell me about Rastafari in Jamaica, I say, what? I say, yeah, that song, in the, that song's interesting. I say, yes. by the way, I read a, a thing from, from Rex Nettle Fall, man. Yes. Uh, you know, and yeah. so and so. So, but I remember as a youth, I used to be hearing a chant when I in tongue. Look at you, uh -huh. man. Hail Selassie, Hail Selassie, Hail okay, Selassie. Okay, okay. So you saw Ixad coming like small little pieces. Yeah, small little pieces. Like pieces. pieces. So I hear, Hail Selassie, Hail Selassie. I saw one I said, but you know. And some of us used to be saying, Hail Selassie, just yeah, so you know. Just so. Yeah, in the 50s. Let's say 50, 59, 58, 59, and them time there. You used to oh, hear a chant, Hail Selassie, Hail Selassie. It's like I can just picture, you know, <laughs> yeah, it, for me, because, you know, it's like, I've lived in places where Rasta wasn't really known no. when I went to school in Cuba. No. And me and my friends were instrumental in bringing some of the culture in certain areas, even with the Bingy and thing, yes. TJ man to me. I couldn't beat Bingy, but friends of mine who, who, who to beat Bingy and yes. TJ and Cuba to beat Bingy yes. and thing. Yes. And the man started to do, yes. um, you know, yes. the movement and so on. Yes. So, I can identify with that. So then, I say, oh, so that is why I used to hear this certain people were saying, Hail Selassie, Hail Selassie, that's from the Gaviais. Yes, yes. So now, when Truf give me the vibes, he said, yeah, man, I was in the, I was a guard of honor. And he said, them man, no, he tell me, them man does, them, them man leader is the um, Selassie I, in Ethiopia, the yes. king of Ethiopia. Uh -huh. And you see a short little man like you, you know, man. Yeah. I see, I was a guard of honor when the man visited Trinidad. Yes. He said, if you see the man, the man have a she short and the man sharp. Yeah. You see the man have a little dog. Yes. And when the man come out of the plane, the little dog in front. Yes. You see that little dog, anywhere you go in that dog in front, and he's smelling. Any, any vibes that, any old vibes he does. Yes. And he himself doesn't know. Any, anything that not. Right. Right. Yes. The dog does a sniff that So there's a man that was a guy that telling you what you see. Yes, you a guy of honor. Like yes. when he come, they would yes. have a guy of honor. Yes, man. To, yes. To, to, you know, the last year I come into the country, so they have to have a guy of honor. Y yes, absolutely. Because he's a king. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So he tell me, yeah, man, I was guard of honor. And the man come and inspect, in, inspect us. I did watching the man. Yeah. And so. He said, man, yeah, man, look, man. That, uh, I said, oh, well, well, that sounds, that sounds like me. So from then on, them guys that were students that were traveling now, from UE, yes, both Trinidad and Jamaica, they'll be they'll be coming down by boat, yes, and um, and they'll be we'll be interacting with them, okay, through the okay. liberation movement, yes, and so like students, yes. And students, yes, so 
we still get vibes from them, you know, like vibes. Yes, and I'll just stop you too. I could understand the book vibes too, because now we have so many different um, methods of, of communication. Information is, is available to all there online or internet and so forth. But even during my time when I started seeking information about Rasta, I was at university and some of my friends and them, and his books, we used to exchange. Yes. You get a lot of knowledge from books, books. reading books, yes. 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 You know, I'm tell you about a book like that and whatever and so forth, and you, you don't want it, you do it. That is how you get the knowledge back that then. That is how back yep. then, yep. exactly yeah, that. Man. Yeah, man. So now, with the, the youth man and them still had this liberation in them, with them. Yes. All in them times I was, as I was telling you there, mm -hmm. you know, this black power movement was still there and um and but the rasta now business was among a few of us yes so what happened is that i know the health message i was taking it very serious yes and uh, we still looked to eat healthy some of us yes there was a magistrate in Goodwill, a retired magistrate. He had a health shop in town. Uh -huh. He was his name by Mr. B he was a boy. Okay. And he used to order wheat yes. from England. Yes. And he would grind his own wheat, stone ground, he had a, a mill, stone mill. Okay. And would grind that, that wheat. And he would make bread. And um, he would have things like wheat germ, wheat germ oil, okay. a lot of um, healthy products. Yes, products. So I used to really partake of that. Yes. I would go and buy every Friday, I would go and buy my bread or okay. bread, you know, some of us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we start to eat early. We start to eat, some of us start to eat healthy food. Yes. You understand? Yeah, man. And, um... Mm -hmm. No. No, no. So, I, have to, I just trying to bring it... Absolutely. No, I like, no, you're going fine. Yes, yes, I know. The approach is, is good. So, why is the Black Power movement going on and the Rasta, the spirit of Rasta coming in in that one time? Yes. I... I decide well. I don't want to be in that black power, that um, that movement and that revolution business. Yes. I want to be more spiritual. Yes. So when Patrick John had the they had the revolution with Patrick John, you no, know, I tell some of my brethren I'm not partaking in that. Yes. Because that's problem is we that we the ghetto youth man that in front is we all die them other man more them and the man on the scene. Yes. You know, go look to the, the man doesn't be there. No. It's we that in the front yes. line. So I say, oh, uh, I don't want to partake of that. I don't want to be in that. I, I, all what happened before, it happened, I was, I was part of it, but right now, I, I, I regress in. Yes. I want to be on a more spiritual line. Never. So, no problem, everybody checking the scene, you know? Yes. And, um, but, I remember the, the night when they, they talk about the the people that were coming to Dominica, the whoever, South Africans and whoever was coming to Dominica, who was on the seashore waiting, who that was an airport to block it, and those kind of things. Yes, yes. So I tell my brother that is Evans, Ras Evans, he's calling bodies, you know? Yes. I say, I myself, I'm not on that, I don't go in on that move, I, I, I threw up from that move. You yes. Know? He went down, you know, he was always aggressive and all so front line front line yes you know? he, he played a very great part in yes the, um, yes in the grand bay revolution absolutely too. i'd love yeah. to capture him as well yes you know? i think you need to capture him and um all that was earlier than all the, all those youth man you okay know, earlier than them you know okay so you were before him yes anything? long long before him you yes. know i am um, smoking ganja i was yes. uh, you know i was you know like to, when i had access to the ganja very very early in dominica when didn't have ganja in Dominica about, you know, ganja would come from the, 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 the boat, the boat. Um, Federal Maple and Federal Palm. There were two boats going, traveling from 
one going up Trinidad and uh -huh. one coming coming up from Jamaica. Yes. So they would be crisscrossing in 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 in, in, in Dominica. Okay. So by that people were traveling to the Caribbean. Yes. Were more traveling in the Caribbean in those times. Yes, yes, yes. St. Lucian, St. Vincent, St. Trinidad, yes. inter traveling. Yeah, because I noticed that you mentioned a lot of Trinidad. I was going to ask you earlier on, it seemed that there was a lot of Trini back in the NM time That's there. right. Yes. That's right. Yes. And Jamaican. And um, yes. because of the movements of those two boats, Federal yeah. Maple and yeah. Federal Park. Okay. And those boats used to be loaded. We've so, got, uh, so, so, not stopping you. Mm. So there was never a uh, original Dominica weed then, local guy.